Hey, this is Eric from LED Grow Lights Depot. I'm gonna unbox, review, and test the Amare Solar Eclipse 500. The SE500 is an upgrade from the SE450. As more powerful, more efficient cobs, and three times more 660 nanometer red than the SE450. Let's dig in. All right, so this box was located inside the box that the light shipped in. So it's actually double boxed. And as you can see, there's foam inserts inside which protect the light. So very well packed. Uh, first thing I notice is that there are two power cords, one for the cobs and five watt diodes, and the other power cord is to power the UV bulb on and off. Also a set of hangers to hang the light from. And then those would connect to these ratchet hangers that are also found in the box. And then notice that there's these H brackets inside the box, which you can use these to connect the SE500 to other lights uh, that Amari makes. And then six uh, lenses that can be used to increase the light intensity on the cobs. So you can install those or leave them off. And lastly, some mounting hardware for the brackets. The SE500 is 21.6 by 21.6 by 3.15 inches and it weighs 33 pounds. It's built like a tank and this is apparent as soon as you open up the box and pick it up. Six cobs are found on the unit with each cob encircled by 10 5 watt diodes. The cobs and diodes can be switched on and off independently. Cob lenses can be used to increase the light intensity for optimal penetration. A UVA, UVB fluorescent bulb is located in the middle of the fixture and contains its own switch and power cord so it can be ran on a separate timer. The diodes are cooled by proprietary copper core heat sinks and four premium high CFM ball bearing fans. The fixture contains a flexible driver which can sense anywhere from 85 volts to 265 volts. The SC500 contains six top bin Cree CXB3070 or Citizen CLU08 chip on board 6500K LEDs. The fixture comes with lenses that can be installed on the cobs to assist in concentrating the light. If the lenses are installed, ensure the light is at least 32 inches away from the plants. Without the lenses, you can place the light 20 to 32 inches away from the plants during flower. 65 watt supplemental top bin Cree XPG2 or XPE2 LEDs assist in rounding out the spectrum and increasing the light intensity. The UVB bulb is not an LED, but is a fluorescent tube that can be used during the last few weeks of flower to assist in trichome development. The COBS, 5 watt diodes, and fluorescent UV bulb can be switched on and off independently for different growth phases. The fixture does not come with dimming capabilities or remote control. The Mare SE500 only draws about 510 watts with the COBS and 5 watt diodes on. With only the cobs on, the fixture draws around 370 watts. With only the 5 watt diodes on, the fixture draws 160 watts. With the cobs and the 5 watt diodes on, the fixture pulls 4.4 amps on 120 volts. The SE500 contains an enhanced full white light spectrum with a 94 CRI. The spectrum peaks at 660 nanometers, and when all the light channels are on, it contains all the wavelengths from UVB to IR. As I mentioned earlier, the SE500 contains three times more 660 deep red than the previous version, the SE450. There's also a lot of green in the spectrum, which is absorbed by light-hungry plants like cannabis and actually drives photosynthesis more efficiently than red in strong white light. This is because green light can penetrate farther into the leaf than red or blue light. Overall, the spectrum is highly efficient and will deliver great growth results. The flowering footprint of the Amare SE500 is 4 feet by 4 feet. The veg footprint is 4.5 feet by 4.5 feet. The unit will replace about an 800 watt HID bulb in a 4x4 space. The recommended hanging height is 20 to 32 inches. Amare does not recommend placing the panel less than 28 inches above the canopy with the lenses installed. 
The special lenses are designed for high bay applications that need a minimum of about 32 inches to maximize the coverage and intensity within the recommended footprint. Here is some PAR data that Amari provided on the SE450. Expect higher PPFD numbers with the SE500, but this chart will provide a general idea of the light spread. I also tested the PAR on the SE500. The unit I am testing is a first generation model and actually contains more red than the post first production models that Amare is currently selling. There is supposedly 28% less PPFD at the edges of the footprint in this first production model due to the higher amount of reds. So keep this in mind during the PAR testing. Let's look at that now. The first measurement I'm gonna take is gonna be at 45 inches with the lenses installed. All right, right in the middle, we're just under 1000 PPFD. I'm gonna move it off to the side. So see how it drops down right around 350 PPFD and in the corner, which is always the lowest spot, about 180, moving it back in, you can see it jumps up pretty quick. Now here's why you don't want to go closer unless you're running CO2. You can see how the PPFD jumps up really fast. I'm about two feet away from the light right here, so that's way too much light. That's why you want to keep it at this distance. The next measurement I'm going to take is going to be at 36 inches with the lenses off. Now with the lenses off, you're going to get less par in the middle, but this light is going to be spread out more. So right around 770 in the middle off to the edge, 320, and in the corner, about 285. Bring it back to the middle, and up. It's about two feet away. All right. And the last measurement I'm gonna take is gonna be at 24 inches with the lenses off gonna see higher par in the middle. Check this out, about 1200 plus in the middle, off to the side, around 365, and in the corner, about 150. And you can see how it jumps up pretty quickly. So this distance would be about ideal for a high intensity flower. In the rare case that you have a problem with your light, Amare products come with a five-year manufacturer's warranty. The MSRP on the Amare SE500 is $1,195, but at LED Grow Lights Depot, you can get the light for $1,075.50. If you want to learn more or purchase the Amare SE500, click the link in the description. Give this video a thumbs up and comment to let us know what you think about this light. If you want more content like this, subscribe here for updates. Happy growing!